Hello there, Erunar here, and today we will review Boeotians, which is the factions that is from Thebes. We start with our main hero, Tersandros. He is very defensive hero. He is able to protect his uh, units, boost them. He can be un unclayable by himself or very hard to kill. Let's go with the roster. Bow by oceans start with the alternative to Young Spears, which is Boeotian Ton Watch. It's a flanker unit with weak stats, so you have to use it as flanker. Otherwise you go with the Young Spears, which are solid chargers and duelists, thanks to their bonus versus swords and axes. Then we have Standard Spearmen, which I do not recommend, uh, as this is very weak unit and uh, this faction has its own version of spearmen which is more offensive has a weaker weapon but to make it up they have battlefield healing so in campaigns you will want to swap or replace uh, these uh, boy ocean spearmen during the battle so they can heal up. Next during the early game you got access to Boeotian uh, Militia which is a pretty solid unit and flanker as well with two good javelins for the low tier and they can throw javelins while running. Uh, from Watchtower we got the standard Light Swordsman, pure flanker unit, you don't go with duels with this one. Then in the mid game you can go with the Boeotian City Watch, which is a stronger but a little bit slower version of uh, the previous one. It can also flank perfectly or charge. Additionally, it has bonus versus swords, which is very good uh, to, for dueling as well. Then your front line is uh, Boeotian Armored Spearmen. They have pretty good stats and shields, standard weapon, and you of course want to utilize their battlefield healing. Uh, to support this front line, you are going to use Boeotian Armored Clubmen. They have pretty decent stats. You deploy them on the sides, and when they win the combat, they can help with flanking as well. Then in the late game, we got heavy upgrade of the City Watch, which is the Cards of Cadmea. They got pretty strong weapon, decent stats, no shields and attack improved. This is uh, more of a shock, shock unit against weaker ones. Or if you are able to manage some nice rear charge, they will devastate enemy units. The upgrade of the Frontline is Guardians of the Seven Gates, uh, amazing unit. It can also block all the charge and it has insanely high defense. A pretty standard weapon for a spear unit. This is your solid frontline, they will hold for a long and to abuse it as much as possible, uh, you can switch them so they can heal up. To support them we have the Theban Nobles, they have much better stats, very strong weapon, they are pretty good flankers or even duelists and they will do a lot of damage. For the missiles we got Akian Slings, the famous good 
versatile unit always recommending then we got standard bowman which i do not recommend it at all uh, this is very weak unit instead we can go with the boy ocean bowman instead it has slightly more slightly better arrows it's much faster and it can shoot uh, while moving this is much better unit instead then still as a key infection we got access to skirmishers they are very good at skirmishing very fast dealing a lot of damage thanks to their 100 models then in mid game we got access to boyoshan armored archers which are solid standard archers with 160 range which is more than 150 and pretty strong uh, arrows and damage and the late game upgrade are the master archers of thieves uh, these have insane defense for a missile unit so you don't have to be worried when enemy uh, units will catch your archers they will be holding quite well they have pretty de decent range and nice damage for their cost. Then we have standard chariots, uh, melee chariots and reinforced chariots from the Akian roster. So you can play teams like standard faction, very versatile. You got some frontline, you support your frontline from the sides and you can bring some chargers or flankers and of course you can spam um, missiles or bring a chariot. I will show very simple and a nice uh, battle how you can safely and efficiently win battles with standard uh, army composition. It will be something like I have mentioned right now. In the center we got the front line which is having the battlefield healing. So such skirmishing from enemy Akian slings are not a problem for us. On the sides we are going to support them with uh, armored clubmen on the both sides. And we have brought one cheap uh, bowman by ourselves. To do some skirmishing as well. So our strategy is simple. We will make defensive line. We will hold the ground and to use their expert charge defense. And meanwhile, on the flanks, we are going to, to win the flanks and then help our front lines. As you can see, we are negating enemy charge perfect use of these front lines we can engage with armored clubmen they will be able to win duel against shield shielded spearmen and on the other side uh, we are thank thanking to ai as this blob is going to get demolished and we can use our charger to chase away and kill all the missiles that are on the back. Meanwhile, our missiles have taken the high ground. We are able to deal some damage for free. And you can just sit and watch how your army is doing well. You, you can use your hero to throw some defensive abilities to support your frontline even better and over time you will see that you are going to win our flanker or charger on the back city watch is doing a lot of job dealing with missiles as i've predicted our armored clubmen are going to win this flank and we can use our missiles to support them 
and this is very simple faction, very versatile. You can use it to achieve decisive or even heroic victories like this. That is that is all. See you later.